Good day, everybody, and we are back again together and looking at uh, the DBE 2021 paper that was written in uh, um, May, June. So please, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please just be part of the family. And uh, yeah, if you've just discovered this channel, where have you been? Hey, uh, welcome to the family. Hey, uh, yeah, for those of you who need assistance with mathematics or physical science, you're more than welcome to keep in touch with us. And our email address is info at mlungesingosi.co.za. Right, so we're going to look at the Newton's law question. All right, so let's have a look at it quickly. So they say uh, an eight kilogram block on a rough horizontal surface. So obviously that already tells us that there must be frictional force, right? They say it is connected to a two kg block by light inextensible string. So first of all, they're telling us it's a light string. It means that we, the mass of it is negligible. And secondly, they say it's inextensible. So it means that whatever it is, uh, whatever acceleration that this one assumes, it will be the same as the other block as well. Right. So they say as shown below, as we can see it. So they say the eight, the 8 kg block moves at a constant speed when pulled by the 29.6 Newton horizontal force. Uh, to the right okay so here we are we are pulling this guy to the right we know there's friction on the table and they are telling us that uh, the frictional force acting on the 8 kg block is 10 newton so they've also given us the frictional force now they say state newton's second law of motion in words obviously you should be able to do that by now um, you know it tells us that the acceleration or rather the resultant force acting on an object and will cause an acceleration and that acceleration is directly proportional to the resultant force and inversely proportional to the mass of the object or you can just simply say the resultant force on an object is equal to the rate of change of the body's momentum all right now let's look at it of course i'm lazy to write all of that down okay of course you should know it by now so um yeah just remember it uh, for the exam Right, they say draw a labeled free body diagram uh, for the eight kilogram block. Right, so they're starting us well. They're telling us uh, about the eight kilogram block. So in this case, uh, we know the free body diagram would always draw a dot there. Okay, I'm just going to adjust that slightly. Okay, so we know we draw a dot there. So we know that we've got an applied force. So that's the first one. So we've got force applied, okay, or whatever it is that you want to call that, uh, which is 29.6 newtons. And then we know that we also have the tension on the string. Now, obviously, if we're pulling this guy that way, the tension is uh, uh, slowing us down in that case. Uh, so that would be the tension on the string, okay? but we also have frictional force friction opposes motion okay um you know obviously because they they told us that they're pulling this to the right and uh, we're going to assume that uh it's either moving to the right in fact uh, they say that they said the 8 kg block moves at a constant speed when pulled yeah by that force to the right so we know friction is opposing there so this is going to be frictional force uh, frictional force okay but we also do know that there's gravitational force or you can say the weight of the object okay as well as the normal force because it's sitting on a surface obviously there is the normal force acting on it okay right and uh, by the way this is five marks and you can see there are five forces over there Right, so the next question says calculate the tension on the string. Now, please keep in mind, the moment they tell us that something is moving at a constant speed, what that simply implies is that, um, you know, there, there should be a, a force there. Um, or rather, it means that the, 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 the acceleration rather is zero. And that would mean that the forces that are acting on that particular object are balanced. Okay, so keep that in mind. So for 2.2, uh, sorry, 2.3 rather, uh, because that's 2.2 there. Okay, so for 2.3, what we are looking for is 
the tension. However, I wouldn't want to use this uh, free body diagram for the eight kilogram block. Why? Because I, of course, as much as I have the applied force um, and the friction, okay, I didn't know what the tension uh, is. Uh, well, well, I suppose this is what I am looking for. So, in fact, yeah, we can actually use that. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so I can say, well, I know that for the 8 kg block, for the 8 kilogram block, um, I know that the force applied minus the tension um, minus the frictional force, okay? Uh, oh, in fact, I should have actually said F net is equal to MA. Remember, that's where we always start, right? So F net is equal to MA, uh, so that would mean this would be equal to MA. But what do we know? We know that acceleration is zero, okay? So as a result, it means that um, the right-hand side becomes zero. So we've got our applied force, which is 29.6, minus the tension, which is what we're looking for, minus the frictional force, and this is equal to zero. And obviously, we can find the tension, take T to the other side, then we're left with 29.6 minus 10, and that would give us 19.6 newtons. Okay, right. And by the way, uh, you could also get that using the 2 kg block and say tension minus gravitational force there. Uh, remember, the weight on this guy would be 2 times 9.8, and you should be able to get uh, the very same value. Right, the next question, they say uh, the 29.6 kilogram uh, newton horizontal force is now increased to 50 newtons. So they change that force from 29.6 to 50. And they say uh, the applied, uh, rather apply Newton's second law to each block and calculate, um, first of all, they say the magnitude of the acceleration. So what we're going to do is let's do the same for now that we've got, uh, remember, the moment that we change that force, it means that uh, it's no longer going to move at constant speed, but it, well, we're rather going to have an acceleration this time around. So we're going to say, okay, for 2.4.1, we know that F net is still equal to MA, right? This is for the 8 kg block, okay? This is for 8 kilogram. So now that I don't know the acceleration anymore, it's no longer zero. So we're going to still say force applied, and they said for each, right? Minus the tension, minus the frictional force. I'm assuming that the friction stays the same. Uh, this is equal to MA. Now, please note, we know this is 50 minus uh, the tension. Now, please, I also want you to note that would change the tension on the string again, okay? Uh, because the moment that we change that, uh, uh, you know, that applied force there, it changes a whole lot of dynamics in uh, in particular. Uh, so in relation to this diagram. So tension is unknown, but my friction would remain 10. And uh, the mass is 8 kilogram and the acceleration is unknown. I'm going to leave that as equation 1. Or in fact, let's just simplify it. So that's 50 minus 10. That would be 40 minus t, uh, which is equal to 8a. And I'll leave that as equation 1. Now let's go for, you know, our 2kg block. So for 2kg, all right, let's make some space there. Okay, so what are the forces that are acting on the 2kg block? Now remember, you've got only two forces there, which is the tension pulling it up, I'm assuming. Obviously, if this guy is going to the right, this one would be moving upwards. So for 2 kg block, okay, just keep in mind, we're going to say, well, this is going to be the tension, right? Keep in mind, so the free body diagram would look like this. It would be the tension pulling it up. It would be gravitational force, uh, obviously acting vertically downwards. So I'll have tension minus the force of gravity on this guy, okay, is equals to MA. Uh, and in this case, now, please, please keep in mind, those two forces, I only took the sum of my horizontal forces for the 8 kg block, right? 
So these two are equal and opposite. Okay, they are basically balanced. Uh, so I'll say the tension. So the tension acting on 8 kg should be the same as the tension acting on the 2 kg. And by the way, for those of you who still struggle in this area, we've got an entire playlist that we've created on Newton's laws. Okay, please have a look at it uh, so that you can be able to follow on in what we're doing. Right, so this is going to be the mass, which is 2 times 9.8. That would be 19.6, okay, uh, which is equal to the mass, which is 2a. So the acceleration on uh, 1, on, on the 8 kg block, should be the same as the acceleration on the, you know, on the, on the uh, 2 kg block. So in this case, let's call that equation 2. So what I'm going to do, it's just simply add equation 1 and equation 2, right? I'm just going to make an adjustment to that quickly, right? So I'm going to say, well, take equation 1 plus equation 2. I'm taking everything on the left-hand left, left -hand side of each equation. That's 40 minus t, okay? So that's 40 minus t, okay? Plus everything on the left-hand side of the equation 2. So plus t minus 19.6. This is equal to now. On the right hand side, I've got 8a plus 2a. This would be equal to 10a. Of course, now what this does is that it will cancel those t's there. Okay, so now we're left with 40 minus 19.6. Okay, and we divide that by 10. Let's do that quickly. Okay, so that's 40 uh, minus 19.6. Okay, and we are going to um divide by 10 and of course we should get 2.04 so it means that the acceleration uh, that we get is 2.04 meters per second squared okay obviously for the 8 kg it's going to the right and for the um uh, for the 2 kg it's going upwards right and then the second question 2.4.2 uh, they say calculate the tension on the string and so this becomes simple because now all we need to do is to just um, okay I'm just going to squeeze it in there okay so I'm just going to calculate that tension so we can substitute actually uh, for a in equation 2 so to get that tension I'm going to say right substitute for uh, uh, acceleration in equation 2 so now we've got t minus 19.6 is equal to 2 times 2.04. And in this case, we've got the tension there, uh, 2 times 2.04. OK. okay. Um, uh, and we add that 19.6. And I get a value of 23.68. So it means that our tension there should be 23.68. And remember, this is in Newtons. Okay, so please keep that in mind. Okay, and that is our final answer. And you would have gotten yourself a full 17 marks uh, as easy as that. I hope that that's been helpful. And please remember, uh, for those of you who haven't subscribed, please, uh, you know, just jump in and be part of the family, okay? Uh, and uh, remember, for those of you who might need assistance, uh, uh, please be in contact with us. But otherwise, we'll tackle the next question next time. Shop, shop.